in these videos, I'm going to explain one of the famous questions in uh, permutation and combination. And actually, this question is asked by one of my online students, and he sent a personal message to, to my Facebook. So I'm going to teach her how to solve this kind of question. Actually, this question is quite simple, but then you have to understand the concept. If you can understand the concept, I think you can easily solve this kind of question. Okay, the question says that in how many ways can four different history books, three different geography books, and two different science books be arranged on a bookshelf if the books of the same subjects are to be placed to match to each other? So the key word is the same subject must be placed to next to each other. Okay, means the same subject, they have to put them together. So now, I got four history books. So what I do is, uh, I will group the four history books together, and then I will group the three geography books together and two science books together. So what is happening here is, okay, now I got four history books. One, two, three, four. And then I have three geography books. One, two, three and two science books. Okay, basically, this is the way I group them together as one. Group them together as one. Group them together as one. Okay, imagine if you have three books over here. These three books, actually, they can change place by themselves, correct or not? You, so, the first place, actually, you can put History, the second place you can put geography, uh, the first place you can put history, geography, science. Okay, if you put history at the first place, second place you, you can put geography and science. If you put geography in the second place, last place you can put science. So we know actually if you have three books only, they can simply change place by themselves. This one we call three factorial. Am I right? Three factorial means actually three objects. You can simply change the place, we call it three factorial. Alright? Okay. This one is three book. They can change play by themselves. All right. Now, we, okay. Within the history, now we have four history book. Four history book actually they can still change place among themselves. So four history book can change place among themselves. We call it four factorial. Seems to three geography books they can change place among themselves is three factorial. Two science book is two factorial. Right, so you just use three factorial, multiple four factorial, three, multiple three factorial, multiple two factorial, you'll get the correct answer. Multiple three factorial, multiple two factorial. Okay, I explain one more time. The three factorial actually is for these three big books. Okay, you imagine you have three books A, B, C. Okay, three books that can change place by themselves, we call it three factorial. Okay, and then this four factorial is for history, they can change place among themselves, we call it four factorial. Okay, this one is for geography, so we, we will call it geography, this one is for science. Okay, this one is for three books. So for question like this, what you always need to do is, you group them together as one first. And then, let's say you got four subjects, then you group them together, if they say must be next to each other. Lah. Then you will have four factorial if you have four different subjects over here. And then only you find out how many books among themselves. Let's say today you have five history books over here, this one called five factorial. You have six geography books over here, this one called six factorial. Because six geography, they can simply arrange among themselves, we call it six. Six book, you want to arrange six book, is six factorial, that's all. Most of the time you will use P or C when Remember, uh, you will use MPR or NCR when you need to choose. When you need to choose. Alright, means when you need to choose like three books over here, you need to choose uh, four books over here, you need to choose three books, then, then you have to use C or P. Mean you have to choose some uh, amounts from the total, then only you use P and C. Of course, in some of the reference book, actually they explain this one is something like they use 3P3, multiple 4P4, multiple 3P3, multiple 2P2. It's the same thing, but then I, I prefer this method because 
easier for students to understand. Okay, this one they're using permutation. Actually, 3P3 is the same number with the 3 factorial. If you not believe, you can try to press a calculator. Alright, this one actually you have 3 books. You want to arrange these 3 books. Okay, we, without repeated, so actually they are using 3P2. They can use P also, but then I not recommend this method. You use this one, it's easy to understand. You have 4 books, just 4 factorial. 3 books, just 3 factorial. 2 books, just 2 factorial. Okay, and then this 3 factorial, because these 3 objects you can arrange by, by yourself. You, yeah, you, you have to arrange them. So, yes, let me press the calculator. 3 factorial, multiple 4 factorial. Multiple 3 factorial, multiple 2 factorial. Okay. The answer I got is... Oops. Press again, sorry. 3 factorial, multiple 4 factorial, multiple 3 factorial, multiple 2 factorial. Yes. The answer I got is 1728. Okay. I hope this video can help you to understand this type of famous question in permutation and combination. Anyways, thanks for watching.